Well, hello again, folks. Uh, looks like I rendered myself without a vehicle. Uh, I've got a... Uh, what year is that? It's a Subaru Forester. 2004, I believe. Uh, it's been uh, making a lot of noise on wheel bearings. I'm noticing now that my little cheap glasses are bent. Uh, it's been making a lot of wheel bearing noise, so I bought a wheel bearing and I uh, have uh, all the necessary tools to get it done, so I thought. Um, I got to work on it today, said, well, got a break in the rain, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, get, started getting it to our part, uh, used the new hub puller, and that worked fantastic. I got the hub out of it, and everything was going along fine, until... A bolt about that long they call it a lateral link it's basically a lower control arm bolt holds two uh, control arms to the knuckle at the uh, rear wheel and it wasn't rusted or anything so I figured I should be able to get that out I've got an electric impact half inch and uh, you know go ahead and yank that out I should have this whole thing done and back together before dark that bolt turned into my worst enemy today everything was going along pretty well and then BAM that happened which wouldn't be so bad if the bearings weren't so shot uh, I'd have just slapped it back together and drove down into town and got myself a uh, uh, a better impact that I can run on the uh, big compressor that I've got here um, I don't feel like jacking with the, well, maybe I could jack with the camera a little bit. That one puts out 175 PSI, so I can now run about any air tool that I want. Oops, a little off to that side. Uh, but, uh, when I pulled off the hub, uh, bits and pieces of the bearing just came dropping out onto the ground. So, the car is not drivable. It's up on jacks, and, uh, it's out behind the truck. Now, I would would have used the truck I would have done what I could to get the car into the garage here uh, just moving all the stuff wherever it needed to get moved but my truck uh, that thing right there 01 f-250 super duty 7.3 apparently it has a bad injector or something along those lines uh, because it is acting like it's got a hydrostatic lock and I figured I'll go ahead and put that off until after I get the Subaru running correctly so that I can be free to run around town and get parts for that as needed I know I'm gonna have to order the injectors to the tune of about 1200 or 1300 bucks uh, for the cheapest ones that I can find but they're supposed to be pretty good rebuilds I think they're remands uh, but, one thing after another, uh, now I've got no ride, and I can't get the doggone wheel uh, bearings apart, because I need to get that lateral link out before I get uh, the, uh, the knuckle to be able to swing out of the way of the uh, constant velocity shaft. So, um, I called on a friend, and she's willing to drive me to town, which is uh, real nice of her. And I've got to determine what all I need to get. Uh, we, ha we now have a Harbor Freight in town, so that's a good thing. Um, their top-end impact, about 130 bucks, but they say that it's, uh, you know, the reviews are all good. There's a thousand or twelve hundred reviews on that and uh, uh, 1190 foot-pounds of torque that'll either get that bolt out of there or break it off so I can use a uh, an air chisel to uh, bang the uh, the rest of the parts out of it just in case I'm gonna order parts on Amazon and uh, get them shipped here as soon as possible because uh, I went to the store just the other day got uh, necessary things cigarettes whiskey milk um uh, we've got a freezer full of uh, other foods and whatnot and some fresh stuff in the fridge and a pantry full of stuff so food we're not worried about uh the consumables that disappear fast around here are speaking of which cigarettes and whiskey and beer uh i picked up beer as well 
But, uh, <coughs> delayed again. I was hoping to get at it over the weekend, but uh, there was rain on and off most of the weekend, or at least real heavy yesterday. And by the time I got to getting around to it, it rained late in the afternoon on Saturday. So, this is just the latest. Eh, five minutes, that's about it. Um, I'm stranded for now, but hopefully I'll be getting back on the road and uh, get the truck fixed after I get the Subaru fixed and uh, get everything all fixed up to date and uh, good to go and get on to some other projects. I'm having to fix things so that I can fix things in order to be able to fix things. The way it goes sometimes. No, order, no one ever said life was easy. Y'all be good and go do good. Thanks for watching.